Hey mate, you've got a problem with your car. What's that? That's what happens when you get a sticking fuel injector, stuck open that is. Flipping heck, I'll tell you what, there must be that much raw fuel gone down that cylinder, straight into the exhaust. There's probably enough hydrocarbons to put a bloody hole in the ozone layer. Anyway, let's get on with what we're supposed to be doing, a seat handle. All aboard. Look familiar, does it? Broken seat tilt handle on a Mark VI Ford Fiesta. Three door, obviously, because they don't have seat tilt handles in the five doors. No, this is, these are strictly for the three doors, either driver or passenger seat. What I think what tends to happen is, people just grab the seat handle and tilt the seat forward. Unfortunately, the handles aren't that strong and they tend to snap off. I'll tell you something else as well. I don't like changing them. They're one of my pet hates. That's why I'm making a point of this one today. I'm going to attempt to change this without losing my shit. Because they might look easy to change, but believe me, if you've never done one before, or you haven't done one for a long time, and you're not too sure how to do it, you can make a mess of it, and you can end up replacing the whole cable, and I'll show you why in a minute. Anyway, let's see if we can get this apart first. If you take the headrest out of the way, it just makes things easier. Right, in order to get this thing off, which is in pretty damn tight, you don't want to try and prise it and yank it off, otherwise you can do a lot of damage. You see where your cable is just there? If you get your screwdriver, just a tad behind that cable and shove it in there between the seat and the handle, you've got to try and prise the screwdriver down and there's a clip there. I don't. There, if you can see that clip moving, there's my screwdriver. And if I prise the screwdriver down a little bit, I can actually release that clip. And when you push the clip in, you can kind of prise it up a little bit. And that's released that side there. You're supposed to do like both sides together, but you can, you can do them independently. And I can leave that screwdriver in there, like that, like that, to make sure the bloody thing don't clip back into place again while I try and do the bottom half. So I'm now going to put another screwdriver in the bottom bit. You've got to, you've got to press a little bit. I'll, sh I'll show you this in a minute when we get it off. And if I can move the other clip until it clips out. Now I should be able to just get hold of this in my hands and just pull it outwards. Be careful. <laughs> so when this handle is clipped onto the seat, you've got these two lugs here. There's one either side. Okay, this one's actually a bit bust where I've been manhandling it. But you see, you get your screwdriver and the seat frame is going to sit here. The problem is the seat frame sits absolutely flush against this bit here. So when you get your screwdriver in between the seat and this handle, you've got to kind of try and prise, prise this up a little bit, if you know what I mean. So you can get the screwdriver between the frame and the handle. Then you can push that in. And once you push that in, then you can sort of like, you know, prise the bloody handle out of the seat a little bit and then do the other side. You see this bit here, this plastic bit here with a cable on it. This is actually the cable assembly comes to this whole unit. So if you break this bit and this bit sort of like falls inside the seat or any of this is broken, chances are you're going to need a complete new cable. But we're not doing that today. And this is all in one piece. This is still intact, which is good. Anyway, before we go any further, our cable, I'm actually going to pull it up because I want to make sure it's working because if it's broken, there's no point going any further or putting the handle on. So we can pull the cable towards us and it releases the seat. Okay, so we know that's working. And when the seat is released, the cable is all loose. Put the seat back into latch position, the cable is tight up in there. Anyhow, here's our new handle. This is a proper Ford part. Uh, 14, 17, 5, 20. Yep. Uh, you can get cheap ones on eBay, but I'm going for the genuine bit because I'm not paying for it. <laughs> but generally speaking, you get the you get the genuine bits. They they tend to fit better. 
and don't cause you as many problems. So uh, we shall pop this in and see what happens. The thing is, when you push this on, hopefully the cable should clip into the handle. Now, this should be a straightforward, easy thing to do. So let's have a go and see what happens. Okay, moment of truth. But before I pop this back on, where the handle curves over at the back, there's a hole here. And that is gonna go over this part of the cable, this bit that sticks up, this plastic piece. So that's gonna slide onto there. Then we're gonna wriggle it and then push it into place. So let's see how we go. You've got to try and wriggle it first to actually get it centralized so it actually slides in properly. Now we're, we're almost in. The object is just to whack it, if you know what I mean, just to whack it with your hand. This is where it could all go wrong, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> it, it feels like it's doing something. You see, the theory is when you push this handle into place and it clicks in, the cable then pops onto its locator and that's it. So if I, if I now pull this handle, it should work with any luck. Well, hey, it does. Oh my God. So I'll just lift this handle up and you can see the cable there. It's in its locator. And we didn't have to try and put the cable in there. It just goes in there automatically once you push the handle into place. That's how it's supposed to work. It doesn't always work like that. Normally, if there's a problem with the actual cable assembly where it goes through the seat frame, but in this case, everything was good. So that's excellent. For once, it's actually worked. Woohoo! So I think the moral of the story is gently does it. <laughs> but I think a lot of people, they'll, they'll just grab this handle and, and use the handle to pull the seat forward. And that's probably what snaps it it's probably best to actually release it and use another hand to actually pull the seat forward rather than that handle. Otherwise you can find yourself changing this again because they do snap quite often. Anyway, that's it. So that's it. Hope this helped. Till the next time. See ya.